All right, what's up everybody? It's Phil Bridges here and uh, I'm doing the review on the uh, Serena vacuum system. I've had this vacuum system for a few weeks now um, and I've actually grown to quite like it. Uh, there are some, you know, goods and bads with it. Um, let's start off uh, with how this system works. This is a uh, filterless system. It uses water instead of a filter to filter out your uh, your dirt particles and uh, your toxins in your air of your house and stuff and whatnot. But uh, what this also does too, it's not also a vac system. It also is uh, a, like an air, air purifier and it can also humidify your air in your house. And actually if it uh, your house is actually has too much humidity, it can take out some of the humidity and uh, help balance out that humidity, humidity in your house. So uh, how this works is the, there's two clips on each side and the top comes off. And now this is your water where you push your water in. And there is a minimum and a max line of where to put the water. It just lets you know, you know, don't overfill it. I like doing this because when you're done, it's easy to clean out. You just, you just take it out. Dump, you can dump this outside uh, or down the toilet. Don't dump it down your sink because you're going to get hair and everything, lint and stuff. Uh, so you don't want to clog your sink. But you can dump this down your toilet if you want to. And then you just rinse it out and then fill it back up to the, uh, the line and then uh, reinstall it in your vac or you don't have to uh, refill it up if you're not gonna use it right away. But you don't want to not use this without water in it. So one of the bad things that I, 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 I don't care for is the plastic on this. It just, it feels like if I, if I drop this, I feel like it would just, it would crack. There's, there is a little give in the plastic, but not a lot, not as much as I thought there would be. But, you know, we'll see how much over time this uh, holds up. And Serena does a pretty good job with their uh, warranty. It's a 10 year warranty. Anything goes wrong with it, you can send it back to Serena and they will fix it. They guarantee that they will, once you ship it to them, they will, within 48 hours of receiving it, they will take a look at your vacuum and see what's wrong with it. And you don't have to pay shipping there or shipping back to you. Serena will take care of that with, uh, that goes along with the warranty, which I thought that was really cool. And I was kind of wondering how well their customer service was. And uh, if you watched my unboxing, uh, if you haven't, check it out up here. Um, but I mentioned that I didn't get uh, some fragrances that were supposed to come with the kit and I didn't get a brush unit, a rotary brush uh, unit that for like doing upholstery and stuff that was supposed to come with the kit. It was like their special uh, going on for the month or whatnot. Uh, so I sent them an email saying, hey, I didn't receive it. And within like less than five minutes, I had a uh, uh, customer representative representative guy from Serena called me and asked me, hey, you know, what's going on? Did you, you know, <laughs> reminded me, uh, if you were calling an IT guy, oh, uh, well, did you make sure your uh, computer's on? He, he's like, well, did you check your box and make sure everything was out of your box? I'm like, yeah, I did. And I went over it all with him and I'm like, yeah, I don't see it. And he's like, okay, well, we'll, we're, we'll get that right out. We'll, we'll take care of you on that. So I thought that was pretty cool on how quickly they got back to me. Now, we fill this up and we put this back on now you don't have to use this caster unit if you don't want to I really like using this caster unit because um, it, it I have uh, tile throughout my whole house uh, so it glides really nice along the uh, along the tile and uh, it has a really lock, uh, decent sized cord I like on it. Um, 
Their cord is a little bit thicker than uh, most vacuums. My Dyson, whenever I have it running, the cord just seems really thin, and after a couple minutes of it running, the cord gets kinda, kinda warm. Uh, this cord doesn't, it, it stays pretty cool. Like I said before, if you want to run this at, as a air purifier, all you have to do is, depending on the size of the room that you have, uh, in your house. Uh, I mainly use this out in the living room area, so I got kind of a decent sized living room area. So you can turn this unit on and without the hose attachment or anything, there is a little cover that clips into here. So, you know, kids can't really mess with it too much. Um, so you can turn this on and you can let it run for like 10 to 15 minutes on full blast. There are two modes to this. There is the high setting for vacuuming, and then if you want to run the air purifier on high for uh, like 10 to 15 minutes, and it'll, within 10 to 15 minutes, it'll clean the air and deodorize the air in the room. There is, underneath there is a like a little fan button that you can hit and it'll kick it on a low speed. And you can just have that going, it'll idle for pretty much all day and it'll just run the fan and it'll suck in your air and kind of get all the dust particles out in, in the house and everything like that, which is really nice. Um, one thing you cannot do is when you, uh, if you just want to run it on the low setting, you can't hit the low setting, you have to turn it on high and let it be on high for about four to five seconds let it get the full speed and then uh, hit the low button and uh, it'll go down the low. I don't know why they uh, have you do that, but uh, they re highly recommend uh, doing that. One of the other cons to this that I kind of had to deal with is you pull this off, now where do you put it? There's uh, no, it has room for attachments on this whole cart, but there's no room for this uh, this cap, and so um, I set this off to the side the other day, and I was like, oh, I'll pick back up. Well, I kind of forgot where I put it, so uh, I was uh, kind of looking around the house where I put it. I ended up putting it on top of the refrigerator, so I'm like, oh, I'll find it there. But yeah, it took me 10 minutes to figure it out. <laughs> so that would be one nice thing to have on here is a place to just kind of step this off to the side when you're not using it when you actually have the hose attachment on because most of the time you're going to be having the hose attachment on. Now, uh, this cleans drapes really well. Uh, I used it on my drapes. I uh, cleaned it and uh, it got a lot of dust and uh, dirt off my drapes. It was really nice because then I didn't have to take my drapes down and uh, I didn't have to put them in the wash machine and stuff like that. Uh, you know, I, I do that once a year, but I don't like to do it all the time because it's a, it's, it's a long process to take the drapes down and uh, put them in the wash machine, clean them, put them back up and stuff. It's really nice with this vacuum. You can clean it and you can really tell that the dirt, all the dirt's getting off of it. With this system is, that it traps, once it goes in, the, the water in the unit will trap the dirt. And so the dirt can't get out and it'll, the exhaust comes out of the back and they have a HEPA filter in the back, you know, just for the uh, motor. But, you know, you're not getting all those air dust particles and dust mites and everything like that. It's not blowing it back out into the house regular filter vacuums, the vacuum can only hold so much dust in that filter and then it'll start bogging down and you won't get your uh, max airflow out of your vacuum either. And then, so you're not picking up as much dirt as you should be. With this unit, it basically, you're never gonna, never losing suction, basically. And uh, you don't wanna lose suction because uh, then you're not picking up as much dirt. It comes with the it comes with these ho the hose and it'll come, it also comes with a brush feeder attachment hose. Now I didn't like how at first how uh, short of hoses they give you. They give you about six foot hose. 
Uh, I, I would have liked to have seen uh, at least a, a 10 foot hose. That, that would have been really nice. But I, I totally get it. They're trying to keep it a little bit more compact and you, you don't want all this stuff, you know, being wrapped up and stuff. And, uh, and actually the unit is not that bad to uh, carve around behind you. Uh, I did test the rainbow units that uh, they have, uh, the rainbow system units, and this, uh, the Serena unit, did roll a lot easier on my floor. Uh, like I said before, you have tile floor, so it just, it seemed like it glided around a lot easier, and I, w I, I didn't feel like I was, I, I had something that I was constantly pulling on, and, you know, that, that was a really uh, downsize, uh, side for me when I uh, tested out the uh, rainbow, uh, rainbow system. The wand attachment is really nice because with the wand attachment, you can use this nice brush and the, their horsehair brush, uh, they use horsehair. You can use this, use the brush attachment, get up in the, uh, do your uh, cold air returns. You can do, you know, get, get the ledges around your windows, get, you can use, use it for your trim on your uh, your floor trim uh, or your baseboard trim and it really uh, gets the dust off and gets in the little nooks and crannies and uh, especially with the suction with this thing it has a lot of suction and now with a lot of suction comes a lot of noise now uh, it did a test with this unit uh, it reads at about, I want to say almost when it's on high, about 96 to 100 decibels. That's really loud. At first I was, well, I turned it on and I thought I had my shot back on <laughs> in my house. But after a while, I, I, I get it because the suction with this thing is ridiculous. Um, and as you can see, I, I'm doing a floor, I do my flo a floor test with the uh, beater attachment in my son's room and I grab, I just put a whole new tank of water in and then hook up my serene system and then I just start vacuuming for about a minute on his uh, play rug in his uh, bedroom. Now, the rug doesn't look that, doesn't look dirty and to me it didn't look that dirty either because I used my reg regular vacuum to clean it like less than a week ago. So after I get done using this for about a minute, I take it, I take off the top of the Serena back and empty out the, uh, the water in it just to see how much water is in it or if, you know, dirt or even, you know, how much dirt is in it. And to my surprise, it was pretty disgusting for just uh, vacuuming for like about a minute with it on the rug because I, w I always thought that rug uh, was pretty clean because I, I would always vacuum it but I just tried it real quick with this uh, Serena vacuum on it just to see uh, you know how much dirt I could get out of it and it got a lot of dirt it was pretty disgusting. Since it has so much suction you can uh, clean your mattresses with it pretty well. Now I take my son's mattress which he's a um, He's about two years old, and this is this is perfect, a perfect unit to have when you have newborns and stuff because you don't realize that you need to clean the mattresses too, not just their sheets all the time, but just their mattress. And just by uh, cleaning his mattress with the uh, upholstery attachment that I had, you can you can really see. Uh, in the unit after I get done, how much uh, dirt, uh, hair, and the even those white particles in there—that's all. That's all dead skin and dust mites. That's that's gross. <laughs> uh, you you uh, don't think that you have that stuff on your mattress, and he had a mattress uh, cover on too, and so I took all that off and cleaned it, and it was. Just, you know, just the finding that I, I got out of this vacuum was insane. The vacuum al alone can uh, not just pick up dry stuff too, it can also pick up wet stuff. And so like if you spill some wine, wine or if you know, you spill milk or anything like that, you can just hook, you just hook up the vacuum like normal 
and you just use uh, you just use the dry hose. Uh, you don't want to use the beater attachment uh, hose with it, but you'll use the, the other hose with the uh, your floor attachment and wand, and you just you just suck it up. And uh, after you, if you don't suck up just water, if you suck up like wine or anything like that, all you have to do is just suck up a little bit of suck up a little bit of water through the hose, and then you'll want to take off the back part of the unit where the exhaust is. And what you do is you just clip on the hose and you just stick this nozzle into the intake of the unit and then you turn it on. And then while you do that, it's blowing air through the hose and it's drying out your hose for you. So when that gets done, all you do is shut off the unit. All right, now I'm gonna I'm gonna plug it in, and I will show you how loud this is. Now, this comes with a 21 foot cord, and the motor size I think the motor size is about 1,200 uh, watts. So, you know, it really ramps up. This is really nice to have running uh, at night because uh, when you run it at night when you're sleeping, you, you get that uh, water running effect and it's uh, really relaxing. And uh, you can also put essential oils into this unit. You can just add a couple drops of essential oils into this uh, the water when you're running it and it'll, air, it'll freshen your house which is really nice. This is the one downside to this vacuum, the price. The rainbow vacuum that I was looking at before I came across the Serena vacuum, and they are pretty much identical. They do the exact same thing. The rainbow vacuum was like $2,300. It was insane. I, would, I couldn't believe when the guy came to our house uh, to do the demonstration, he kept, they do this like hour and a half demonstration. And I kept asking what the price was and he just wouldn't tell me the price. So first of all, when they ask, you ask them what the price is and they just kind of brush it off and they try to change the subject, that's when it's kind of a red flag of, uh, you're gonna pretty much, um, crap yourself when you hear the price. So uh, yeah, that price was insane. But the price of the Serena vacuum is pretty reasonable. It's expensive, but if you think about, you know, what it does and what it will do for your family, um, it's not that bad. It's about, runs between $800, uh, around that, 850 somewhere around that depending on where you can, where you get it. You can get it from Serena.com, you can get it off of Amazon. Um, they pretty much have the same package deals. All in all, um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go back to a regular vacuum uh, after having this. I love it. The, my dust has, because uh, we have three dogs in our house, the dust and hair issue has gone down tremendously because the Serena vacuum, I'll run this for about 10 to 15 minutes a day on high uh, when I don't have it on low and it'll really circulate the air in the house and get all the uh, dust particles and everything out and pretty much every couple days I'll empty this and the water will be gray and you can totally see the hair and dust particles in it. That's really cool for me to have uh, and it, it, it cuts my cleaning down to not like every week to at least every other week. So 
um, it really helps out. And when you're not cleaning, you get to spend a lot more time with your family, or you know, if you can do other stuff if you want to. But um, that's a big win for me. So I would uh, highly suggest looking into the unit. Like I said, you can go to serena.com uh, or check it out on Amazon. I'll put links in the description below and everything like that. Uh, and so uh, these are my thoughts and reviews on it and pros and cons. Uh, I hope you liked the video. If you have any questions or comments, uh, comment down below. Hit the like button if you thought this video was good. And I'm Philip Bridges, and I will see you on YouTube.